Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia. I run a blog. Can you even see my face? I've got my blue blockers on, my Blu-ray blockers. Anyways, I run a blog, Julia Marie B, where I focus on fashion and style and helping you to maximize your wardrobe by making smart strategic purchases. Um, today we are gonna do five coats that you need in your winter wardrobe. You know, we're using the term need a little loosely. Um, that is really it. I am a little under the weather. My allergies are killing me. One day it's 35 and raining, the next day it's 65 and sunny, and my allergies can't keep up. So I'm a little under the weather. I did not bother doing my hair, putting makeup on. We're just gonna try to get through this um, video real quick. Um, so we're gonna do five must-have coats for your winter wardrobe, and that's it. Let's get into it. So you know I always like to show the base first. So the base today is just a traditional oversized sweatsuit, uh, mostly in an Ugg boots. I may change the shoes though. Um, <clears throat> I reserve my Ugg boots for errand runs and walking the dog, um, but I feel like this is an errand look for sure. Hello, I wear this at least like once a week to a Target. <laughs> to Target or to Sprouts. <laughs> But this is the base. I really just wanted to show you guys the base of a classic sweatsuit to show you how getting a proper coat can really elevate any look. Like obviously if you're doing denim and white or if you're dressing up with a dress underneath, obviously you're already elevated. But if you have a nice coat, that nice coat is gonna elevate anything you put on. I wear ridiculous coats over sweats all the time. That's definitely like on brand for me. That's a look for me. So this is the base, sweatshirt, uh, sweatpants, Ugg boots, which I may change. And then we'll get into our five coats right now. So first coat, which I guess is more of a jacket. I think this is the only technical jacket is a bomber. This is kind of, I would say like a mid length. It's mid length on me, it hits mid hip. Um, this is velvet. It is a members only jacket that I got two years ago. Um, I feel like I wore it a lot the first season I received it. I didn't wear it at all last year. And then this year I've been picking it up like a couple of times a week. Uh, you do not need a velvet <laughs> bomber, but a bomber jacket is definitely a really cute, casual way. Um, whatever, it's cute and casual, that's the end of that. So our first coat is going to be a bomber style. Our second coat is a teddy coat. Um, you don't have to necessarily do, you can call it a teddy or a pile, 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 P-I-L-E. Um, you don't have to get pink either. I just love this style, this cut. I got this last year, so I haven't been wearing it as much this year because I tend to wear whatever like is new and I'm obsessed with. Um, I definitely want to upgrade this and instead of the, the teddy, like that really short, fur if you know what I'm talking about in like a nice taupe or cream or like a light brown um but the death the same cut and style of this coat but just fur instead of well faux fur of course instead of the pink but I think a teddy coat or a faux fur in this cut is like you're gonna get your money's worth because it's warm it's chic I wouldn't suggest Ugg boots with this but you can literally dress up anything with this style coat a show. What is this? Our third. Our third must have is a classic trench coat. This was picked up. I think two of the coats I'm showing you today I got from the thrift store. This is a um, vintage, ah, I'm going to show you, vintage London fog that I got at the local thrift store. Um, I haven't worn it yet. Like I had to have it and I haven't even worn it yet. And I spent the money to have it dry cleaned and everything. Still haven't worn it. Um, it is lined, the London fogs are lined with this wool insert, so it is actually warm. Um, and then if you wanted to take the insert out and wear it in the spring, you could do that as well. Obviously, I feel like a trench just really makes things a little classic and chic. Let me belt it for you guys so you can give you a different look. Hold on one second. Belted. I also didn't belt it tight enough. Maybe it needs to be more oversized. But I think it's definitely super chic. Not with Ugg boots at all, but I just, I can't be bothered to change my shoes, okay? Um, I just, I think everyone needs a classic trench. Even though I haven't worn it yet this season, everyone needs a classic trench. I'm going to challenge myself to wear this this week. Done. Okay, one of my favorite coats. This is my first thrifted coat. 
Um, I named her Celeste because I envision the previous owner and she was very grand and she, she, and she did not wear this with sweats, honey. The original owner did not wear this with sweats, but I absolutely love this coat. Um, we have the gold button details. There is like a little sash thing that goes here and then the gold buttons, but um, I broke <laughs> I broke some of the buttons on one of them, but this would be a full length wool coat is definitely a need. It's so grand. Throw this over a dress and some heels. Amazing. Denim and a sweatshirt or denim and a blouse. Amazing. Sweatsuits with different shoes. <laughs> Amazing. Like it really makes anything chic and put together and elevated. You can just throw it over literally anything. One thing about the winter, if it's cold enough where you live, a lot of time, you know, the only thing people are going to see is the coat and then the shoes and then whatever like handbag or accessories you're wearing. Once it gets drops below a certain temperature, that's all people are going to see. So a nice coat is why, I don't know, a nice coat. I don't know where I'm going with this. My allergies are getting to the best of me, but a really good coat is gonna elevate your look. That's what people are seeing. You wanna have at least one or two really good coats unless you live in Florida or California then you just keep wearing your shorts and sandals, okay? Anyways, last or no, this is fourth. We have one more to go. Last but not least, we have a faux fur, oversized faux fur, mid-length coat. Um, I got this this season at H&M. I think they sold out in like a week or two. It sold out really quickly, did not get restocked. Um, I think maybe there was a couple of returns. Obviously, like, fur isn't for everyone. I know it's very loud. I used to hate any like fur, whether it's faux or real. I didn't like any of it. And for whatever reason this season, I was like, I I need a faux fur coat. <laughs> like I just need it. Um, so maybe the faux fur isn't for you. So maybe it's four coats you need for winter. This would be my fifth. Um, this like sasses anything up. Like I would literally wear this with to run errands with the same exact look on. Um, I don't mind the Ugg boots with this. I think it's like, yes, I'm casual. Yes, I don't give a fuck, but I'm still a bad bitch. That's what it says to me. I don't know what it says to you, but that's what it says to me. Um, this is my fifth must have winter coat. Faux fur, grand faux fur. And that is it. Those are our five must have coats for winter. Um, if you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and we will see you guys next time.